And there's a dragon trade away, which just <laughs> sets the tone. He, yeah. A dragon followed by a dancing lady, you know, what, what can be better in a yeah, yeah, RPG? Pretty, <laughs> pretty much sells sells you on it immediately. Um, I never played this as a kid, but apparently this is one of your like childhood greats, so... Yeah, it was the game what was I played all the time on the PlayStation when it was out. It was the game. Just the game, the ultimate the game. game. Apart from obviously your, your greats like Final Fantasy, um, obviously mm. there was one, the theme park one. That's always a great theme park <laughs> world. I had quite a few favourite PlayStation games, but uh, yeah, this one just completely eluded me. So we're going to jump straight with the new game, even though you do have quite a safe game already prepared on this yeah. <laughs> on this version of the game. But it's, not, it's always fun to start a new game anyway. You mm. usually miss some things that you didn't see the first time, so... Uh, do you run into things still that you've never found Probably before? not. I've played it enough times you've played it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you've played this so many times. You probably know it like the back of your hand now. Yeah. So, the opening scene is a bit... I don't know. The I plot's kind of... I, from what I've seen, the plot's kind of incomprehensible. It uses a lot of like jargon and just kind of throws you straight into the thick of things yeah, without exactly. really explaining anything. No, it definitely don't. Like there, you just see a square box man. Just <laughs> a square box man. <laughs> them, them, be- them beautiful PS One <laughs> graphics right there. You can't beat him, can you? Start like playing the old Tomb Raider games with the fire on the wall. Metal Gear Solid was the best, to be oh, honest. Yeah. When that was just the best. Snake's face. <laughs> no, just a bit when it's just like, what's that? <laughs> what was it? When the explanation mark comes <laughs> up. <laughs> what was that just now? <laughs> yeah. Right, so they're looking for Sydney, obviously. It's the capital of Australia. It's pretty easy to find, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. It's a pretty big place. It's got an opera house and everything. I mean, I've, I, I could probably walk past it, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Literally on the other side of the world to us, but you yeah. Know, you know. Might bump into it while out on a stroll. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. So obviously um, we're in a manor. I, I, I can't quite hear right now. Is there voice acting in this? Or? No, there is no voice acting in it. Okay. Um, it is literally just a Link kind of Zelda kind of game where you just see subtitles. And... Oh, okay. If it were full Zelda, though, you'd have them going... Bruh, 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 there is bruh, no... Bruh, 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 bruh. Oh, it's there is? It's literally just okay. their voice, their um, lips moving, so you just got to kind of make up their voice yourself. Okay, okay. It's probably the, probably the best bet. I kind of like that. It lets you use your imagination a bit. Let's you get whisked away into the magical story. Yeah, so you can obviously, like David, you love making your voices, so I'm pretty sure you can <laughs> comment on are you how all they work. To, are you going to ask me to voice act for you? Because I will do it. Yeah, I'll, the... I'll think it'll be funny, especially when it comes to um, the main bad guys and this douchebag looking person. All right, well, go move on to the next dialogue and I'll break the cardinal sin of reading dialogue boxes. Try and mimic his voice, because his voice actually moves in. Try and make your voice move in time. Where are you, Sydney? That's a very good question. Where is Sydney? Oh, I was just getting into it as well. <laughs> and they immediately throw credits at us. It, in fact, it just ended. That was the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, there you it go. Just, I completed the game in five that was seconds. A, speed run. a vagrant story. And there's your character, Ashley Riot, which is a which is a fantastic name. You know, cool anything name. with Riot in the name is going to be a great mm. name. Sounds about right. Although his hair... Random screaming yeah, in the his, background. His hair is kind of... Uh, it leaves much to be desired. He does look like he's just stuck his finger into an electrical outlet there. But then he pulls out a scimitar, you know? Okay, well... Oh, would you like to say that to him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I won't just chat shit directly to his face. Maybe behind his back, maybe. But, as you can see, it's just about to start now. Mm-hmm. There we just one moment. I'm just going to do a bit of uh, stream maintenance. Kachar, stream maintenance. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is another. If I can remember correctly, he's the one of the bad, main bad guys in it. Or one of them. Right. Who obviously is a. I don't know. He's pretty weak once you fight him. Oh, okay. He's, a, he's like the. Um, I would just go like the mini boss. He is say. a mini boss, yeah. Right. I would say. Oh, oh, that box is about to ruin our stealth. Our perfectly stealthy thing. I'm pretty sure the hair don't give it away sticking over <laughs> yeah. the pillar, but you know. Is that a really angry, like, cactus chasing us? Like, what the hell is that? 
I love the fact how the raindrops are like on to, like falling on him and it makes it look like they're exactly on the floor as well. Oh yeah. Have you noticed that? Like when if see if it goes up to the top again. We'll see, we'll see. Oh snap! <laughs> there you go. A, a um snake, snake. Sorry, is it? What is it? What's yeah, that just snake. now? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely snake from Metal Gear. Just need the explanation mark now just to appear. <laughs> just ties it all together. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's got more of a. a, a so as you a can see, the um, boy voice. <laughs> the fighting is very simple. Um, you've got a percentage chance of whether you can hit someone or not, and where you want to hit them. Mm. Um, so obviously the most damage is obviously in the head so why not boosh and that's how you kill a guy in one hit wow damn and again obviously we'll go for the head again because it's the most oh oh that's brutal uh, that is what you call a decapitation you just you just eviscerated those dudes or beheaded them uh, rather they're, they're nothing wait until you get in inside oh yeah I remember I remember what you face next yeah it's nothing <laughs> it isn't, it's literally just like I mean it's easy but it's daunting I'll it's give it that scary at first but I mean look at this badass how can he <laughs> just bowling in like he can nothing be anything look at him yeah he just, just doesn't ca just doesn't care does he no they're obviously fine trying to find something it's no use there's nothing like that here anywhere I don't know what character this is but I have that voice keep looking damn you He's very gay. I'm telling you, Sydney. The knights are nearly upon us. Stop your... Okay, that's going to be a bit more authoritative. That's, that's what I think that's Sydney. Okay. Stop your whimpering. You'd come this far only to leave empty-handed. Now search. Now you get to see what Sydney looks like. It's really unfortunate that the speech bubbles don't show you who's who they're attributed to. It makes this really hard to do. That is excellent. Um, good graphics of the movement there. Did you see them move? <laughs> yeah, they're just like hobbling away. Like, rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> right, here we go. This is where you get to see Sydney. The mm. ever release of Sydney with um, no top on. Oh, damn. You know, rocking the shirtless look. Look at that li liquid snake mofo. Curse the Duke. Where's he hidden it? Are you sure the Duke really has it? Does the damn thing even exist? You got the voice pretty... Right there. Yeah, he's he is, Kermit. He's definitely he is, voiced he is by definitely the um, annoying, frog. the annoying sidekick. You doubt me, Hardin? You doubt my power? Forgive me, I, I did not intend. But Sydney, any longer, and there will be no escape for us. I just love the fact he has claws for hands. <laughs> That's uh. Why does he? What, what has he just got? Robotic arms then? Or? No, no, no. It's just his armor. It's just how it is. All right. Fine then. Bring the boy and come with me. All right. Well, whatever. I guess I'll do that. Bye. There's no, no arguing with Sydney, is there? Really? Yeah. He's got robot arms. You don't. You don't question <laughs> yeah. that. He's augmented. This is the new Deus Ex. Don't move, Sydney. There we go. I'm finding a voice for them now. I have a bow gun aimed at your hearts. I love how Sydney just doesn't care. Now turn round slowly. I'm pretty sure Ashley Wright will have a more manlier call of voice. Um, no, no he's, he's a hero anime, and he has Riot in his name. He's cool. That's my cool anime protagonist voice. You're no knight, are you? Bind your legs with that rope. You do that for me. Bind your own legs? Is that something anyone's ever been ordered to do? Well, I guess it saves him I'm, from... I'm not, I'm not voice acting it. I'd rather riff on things as they come. Let's just <laughs> power through. Royal guard dog. Bind yourself. <laughs> Tie yourself up in that rope. I don't know. I cannot be bothered to do that. I just shoot things. I love the fact whoa. that... Whoa. Animation. Whoa. Damn, Damn! Bam! Sit the fuck down. That's on my language. Good. That's fine. That's fine. That was some good action. That was reflexes, right? Mmm. Exactly. Good gameplay, Sam. You did it. You won the game. I know, right? Oh. Nailed it. We killed the main guy. You know. And the credits. Oh my god! Start. The credits just start. Sydney. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. One more time. One more Kermit. 
Oh, that was a bit nasty, wasn't it? Oof, oof. He's the one you want, obviously. Look, look at him just <laughs> nipple. <laughs> I think that's a nipple. Blood. It's meant to be blood, but it looks more like just a, a, a distended nipple. <laughs> My nipple cannon is ready to fire. <laughs> Well, that Austin Powers moment, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> it's got a boob machine gun. Whoa, shit. Sydney can be fast. Mm. Now he pulls out the scimitar. After all that malarkey. He was meant to be dead. To the fairy tales. Oh, we're one of those games that spells fairy that way. <laughs> you know it's high fantasy if they call them fairies. He just drops a sword. Who needs a sword? Mm. You know, when 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 you're someone like Sydney, you don't need a sword. Oh, I just realised. Mm, wait, is anyone anyone uh, watching the stream right now? Do you want to just uh, just pipe uh, pipe up with stuff in the chat, just so I know you're here? I don't know if my chat w window's frozen or if anyone's if everyone's just keeping nice and quiet. But carry on, Sam. Carry on. Okay. I'll do my stream maintenance while you play the game. <laughs> just just a scratch. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> Oh, Monty Python. Such a great bloody, Your bloody chest ripped open. No, it's not. <laughs> you got no bleeding arms. <laughs> I can still kick you. <laughs> he really doesn't have bleeding arms. <laughs> well, very tales. This is actually just the Black Knight from that, from that film. Detox. And here we go. Whoa, damn. Go fuck. A fucking Wyvern. Hello, Wyvern friend. Hey there, Quasar Stellar Objects. Oh, good stuff. Uh, other people are here watching. That's good to know. You're here to witness our vagrant storytelling. Yeah, you get to see me attempt to kill a dragon. More wyvern, shall I say. What is the difference between a dragon and a wyvern? A wyvern is a, essentially kind of a baby dragon. Oh, okay. So is not that... a fully mature dragon yet. Oh. oh. I feel bad now. I mean, that's kind of cute. I've got to kill a baby dragon. <laughs> well, fuck, look at the thing here. Look at well, it. Okay, I mean, that's... Uh... It's got an axe in it, a spear, a couple of spears, a few arrows. It's not... Yeah, I was going to say, that thing's already been pretty badly beaten up before we... <laughs> what the hell? That thing's been pretty badly beaten up before we even get to it there. Yeah, but it's not... The point is, I, I hopefully can kill a dragon. Mm. That's all we've got to take from this. Well, let's see what we do. Let's see how we do. So, yeah, there's a dragon who breathes fire. Oh, you're, you're, you're more finishing it off than anything. He's got a spike in his eye. You wouldn't beat this thing from full health. Oh dear. Apparently you're not going to beat this thing anyway because he's just going to blast you with fire breath. Oof. Oh, there you go. Oh. There's also another um, one for women. It's the fairies in different um, ways how you explain it. So most, uh, obviously, the fantasy we know. Yeah. That's what a women is. Oh, okay. Um, but then obviously you get a lot of other fantasy things where they explain as the dragon is oh it's kind of like as you're saying there Quasi Stella the dragon has yeah. Four, yeah, four legs and wings and with have two legs and wings right yeah. this, is, this is the first time by the by that I've experimented with putting the stream chat in the uh, in the video footage and I, I dig it it makes things a lot easier to manage you yeah. play more 4x3 games apparently well now we've got to go and find Sydney because he jumped out a window you know mm. like I'm pretty sure our character could probably do the same thing but then you realise how far it is down. And you, if not and for you the don't fact, bother. if not for the fact that this is anime and all the characters basically like are demigods who can like leap out of tall buildings and have health bars and all that, that fall would definitely have killed him. <laughs> he would definitely <laughs> have died after falling out of that. that. He, ha he has a perk which allows him to like suffer no fall damage, David. <laughs> God, <laughs> he's got God mode switched on. Is, <laughs> is the difference? Right Invulnerability. By the way, Quasi Stella, how's our audio? We're not too loud, we're not drowning out the game. Give us a shout as we go, and we'll, uh, you know, I can change on the fly now. I've got a good setup going on here. So now we've got to find this ever elusive Leia Monday. That sounds like, uh, what is Leia Monday exactly? Is it a place or, uh. It is, it is a place. It's, um, more of a dungeon, if anything. Oh, alright. Okay. Which is where the whole, it's essentially like a, a city dungeon, near enough. Where the whole game's based in. Oh, that's where we're gonna be. All right, yeah. cool. And there you go. That's that's the opening opening fight, really. I have to make a slight complaint. I haven't seen a single vagrant so far. Where's the vagrant? I see no homeless. I see no wandering travellers. 
Is vagrant not literal in this sense? In, it's more because a vagrant is a wanderer, not technically a homeless person. A vagrant is someone who moves on from place oh. to place, someone who doesn't actually have a home to go back to. Right. Whereas and that's more Ashley, then he can't. There you go. They can't hear the game audio. Okay, I will turn the game audio up then. Here they are. It's not much to hear anyway, but it's it's nice to hear the nice um, music. It's always good. Right. All right. How's about now? Give us live updates. Live updates. Live improvements. <laughs> Here we go. This is this is the plot thickens. I love the shape of this guy's head. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like Brain from Pinky and the Brain if he were a human. <laughs> Duke Bardorba. So obviously we was just in his first res so his main residence in his manor. Right, right. And now we're obviously we're in his second his secondary address. So a rich rich person obviously has more than one house, obviously. Oh okay, okay. But you the plot will thicken now. I, I like thickening plots. Okay, so um Gildenstern, I believe he is a um, leader of the Crimson Blades who are hunting Sydney. Mm. Um, essentially, how it works is this guy's hired the Crimson Blades. Right. Um, and so, essentially, you're the main guy. You're a risk, risk, risk breaker, which is hired by the king. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. And um, so, obviously, this Duke and the Crimson Blades are kind of like mercenaries. All right. Um, and they're obviously hunting Sydney. Hmm. Um, see, here we go. And obviously, he's just saying set fire to the manor. His, his, his manor. Oh, obviously, you know, claim he's the insurance. He's getting. I was gonna say he's uh, <laughs> going all in. Oh, he just hit music. It is it's literally just mainly music, anyway. In truth, um, th there's no voice analog to it. Oh yeah, yeah, it is just music. But can you hear the music? Is the question. How are we compared to the music? Um, so here we go. So obviously now he's just saying set fire to his own manor, which is a bit weird, <laughs> I guess. Fire? <laughs> That's a weird command. There you go. Ah, Ooh, Sydney uses women. Ah, there you go. It's all good now. Cool, good. cool, cool. I can dig it. So yeah. So obviously he just wants to cover up everything. But here we go. <laughs> His family. Irrelevant. <laughs> Irrelevant. <laughs> so, yeah, he's just willing to fuck him. kill all his family. <laughs> just fuck him, though. Who cares? You know, it's only family. Who needs him? Like... <laughs> oh, that's rad. So, yeah, that's... What uh, of Parliament? If you don't give a shit about your family... <laughs> like... <laughs> I doubt he's going to care about Parliament. Parliament. Yeah. The VKP. That sounds so, like a fantasy version of the BNP. That's essentially the risk breakers. That's who you are. Oh, okay. We're well, not that then. That's that's. You're known as the VL the VLPs, um, but VKPs, they're known yeah. as risk breakers. Mm. Just they're essentially mercenaries hired by the king, essentially. All right. Okay. So as, as Sydney put out, um, the royal's loyal lapdog. It, will all this plot actually tie in as we play yes, the game? Yes, it will. Oh, it, it will. will okay. it, eventually. This is just setting up, saying it's just showing you how essentially fucked up this guy is. Okay, because um, I saw you playing this game for like two, three hours before, and you were just going through like one dungeon. Yeah, <laughs> so essentially, it's what, a long game. What what it is you, you've been hired to do is you've got to try and you've got to track down Sydney. Mm. Um, but now, obviously, they kidnapped that kid, who I believe is this guy's son. Right, that's a wrench in the works, right there. Okay. So there you go. So now this guy. So yeah. So essentially, the Crimson Blades and he, this guy here, um, or the Duke's men are against the Crimson Blades and Sydney. So essentially, there's three different war insides, or now four. Oof. oof so you've got the Crimson that. Blade, Sydney, um, obviously you, which is the risk breakers, the Parliament people, mm -hmm. and then you got the Duke's men. Oh jeez. Okay. Okay. So it, it gets. There you go. And the young Lord Joshua. I just love this guy's whole, whole thing, his whole, his whole look. So obviously he he, he only cares about that son, his son. All right. That little boy in the background there. And his <laughs> wife and him. A dorky little boy. Yeah. So that's essentially. <laughs> that bowl cut though. 
Oh, great. So, he seems nice, but, I mean... He's not. He's, he's definitely not. He's pretty messed up in the head. Alright, okay, cool, cool. Right, here we go. Oof, ah, oh no. This is... Here we go. So, Leomont's an old town. Uh, fortified place, it's beautiful. Okay. Cool, got it. But now it's essentially a dungeon. Giant dungeon, a, right. A d giant dungeon, yeah. There we go. Oh, so much plot, <laughs> it's just kind of throwing at us. Grand Cathedral, Holy Ground, of the Iocus Priesthood, uh, Thrive Community. Yeah. It's pretty what? tragic what happened to it. What? what? Oh, the earthquake. The earthquake right. essentially just destroyed everything. So it's like Pompeii. <laughs> oh. An actual disaster wiped the place out. Right, right. And now, yeah, it's essentially a place where monsters are and a lot of bad things. Where fantasy adventures can take place. Yeah. Okay. And we're just hunting for that one Sydney guy. Yeah. And obviously this is another risk breaker. Alright. She's, she's a close friend of yours. See, when I, like, I, when I first watched you playing this, considering I was completely blind at the time, I was looking at these two and thinking, oh, these are going to be like the two protagonists, the first two party members as you go around and have your generic JRPG, adve JRPG adventure, not realising that, well, not to spoil, but no, you are with Ashley the whole way through the game. It's just you yeah, and it's Ashley. Just, it's just yeah. you, you're just Ashley. Just the one protag. Everyone else is more an NPC. So yeah, so obviously, men have been sent in there already, mm -hmm. and no one's come back. It's hard no. to take anything seriously when you look at with Ashley's hair. I'm sorry, <laughs> he's it's like he's got antenna and he's just like like a beetle kind of thing. Yeah, here we go. This is a bit more into the story. Agent Riot, reports are vague. There's one path. All right, okay. So if the Asian right is obviously you. That's ourselves, yeah. yeah. That's such a cool name, by the I just can't get over the name Ashley Riot. That's a great name for a protagonist. Yeah, it's a good name. Obviously, you see some dead people. What's this? What's this? There's corpses everywhere. It's pretty. Well, there's expensive wine in it, obviously. Oh, even better. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's just get pissed. Yeah. Forget the plan. Forget the mission. There's booze here. Let's get utterly shit faced. <laughs> there you go. That's nice. Oh, oh, that's that's uncool, Ashley. Immediately, he is protecting her. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, Sydney lost a rot. <laughs> Leader of Mulden Camp. <laughs> what are these names? I think it's some sort of German name. Maybe. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. There you go. His real name is unknown. So he's a cult leader. He's a, he's a god complex. We gotta mess him up. Yeah. All right. There you go. He's in a dark alliance with Duke Barbador, who controls Parliament from behind the scenes. But it's it's so messed up. Mm. It gets confusing after a while, so obviously you're the parliament kind of thing, or not. You're a representative of, or you're hired by. It's, it's really hard to explain, really. It explains a bit later on everything about it. Shall we but just kind of roll yeah, with we'll it? Yeah, we'll just play it. Yeah, we'll just crack on with it. Okay, okay. I was going to say, this game opening on its own is clocked in at like over 20 minutes now. It's yeah. like, whoa. But yeah, so obviously what it is is um, he was working with Ashley, and then Ashley just kind of betrayed him. Right, right. Okay. There we go. He's essentially a he's a prophecy. There mm. you go. He's a prophet, so he And he's got wizard powers. <laughs> he could do magic shit. <laughs> yeah. I like that he's got super high charisma and manipulates everyone. It's very Dio in that sense. I can dig <laughs> that. That always makes for a good villain. 
Goodbye. Godspeed. All right, well. She just leaves. Just time for me to just saunter on out of here. But does she leave though? That's the issue. Oh, oh shit! Oh no, there's <laughs> Sydney. We could have literally just stayed here and talked a little bit longer, and that would have solved things really easily. Yeah. Like, oh, he's here. Fuck him up. <laughs> cool. There we go. There you go. The Cardinal's Crimson Blades. Right, right. Died by their own. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. No. Yeah. We're getting a lot of dossiers and documents right now, aren't we? It's yeah. kind of like the beginning of um, Final Fantasy XII. Like it does a lot of that actually, because Evilise is like such a massive world with so much going on in it that it just needs to talk. It needs to give you like excerpts from fantasy novels to give you an idea of what's actually happening. Yep. Yeah. So these earthquakes here are a regular occurrence throughout the whole the whole game. And I guess that's like a way that they open and close parts of dungeons for you, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's an interesting mechanic, I could dig it. Um, and as you can tell by, if you can hear the audio, you can hear um, the sounds of whatever is making that noises. Hmm. Alright. Which you could only assume as being obviously zombies. Oh dear, okay. Don't like those. Easy enough to kill. What have I found in here? Ooh. Okay, so, I mean, there's a lot of gameplay for us to kind of explain right now, so do you want to, like, find a nice natural way as you play of ex describing what you're doing? Or? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so, obviously, what I've just picked up is equipment. Mm -hmm. um, so, obviously, with the equipment thing, it's, it's kind of, I wouldn't say different to most RPGs, because it's all essentially the same thing. Yeah. But as you can see here from the class affinity, they do different things to different things. So, obviously, here, if you look on this... Yeah. Um, it shows you the minus stats and the plus stats for using that weapon against a certain creature or enemy, shall we say. Right, right. So Sorry about my phone, by the way. I've turned it down, but yeah, go on. <laughs> so, obviously, the Fandango, obviously, you can see here, is it's got a lot of minuses, but it's zero against the dragon. Um, and here, as you can see, the difference. Mm. So, I would say, at the moment, so if you look on the Based bottom on here what as you've well. you've got a face. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you look on the bottom, it shows you that stat-wise. So at the moment, um, the Fandango gives me plus one to attack. Right. Okay, so you see where it says attacking the strength at the bottom? Mm hmm It's, it's the obviously... there, but go on. Yeah, sorry, it go, it'll go down. Um, so at the moment, I'm just going to keep with the Fandango, because if you can see here where it says the PP... Yeah. The more you use a weapon, the better the weapon is, or the better you get with that weapon. Okay, or okay. Or weapons of that type. So as you can see here, the class is weapon, it's a bronze sword, edged one-handed. Mm. So the more you use it, you get better with an edged and one-handed weapons. So again, edged one-handed by set. Is it possible to like max out your weapon skills with all different weapons though? Essentially, yeah. If you kept fighting. If you kept grinded. using the same weapon over and over again. The issue with this one, you can't really grind because I'm pretty sure once... Well, no, actually, I come to think of it, you can actually go back and kill Yeah, you can go back and redo, so... But we just don't want to do that, oh, that's no. just point of that, that's not Now, good. how I do fists it. work? What's the policy on the fists? fists are actually, it can be a good weapon, because you can run around and use fists as a weapon. Um, it's good oh. against certain creatures. Um, Sometimes you just got to punch a mofo to win <laughs> yeah, fight. Yeah, essentially. All right. So as you can see here, obviously, the, this is a different armor type. Um, this one doesn't have a PP, but it does have an encumbrance or a endurance. So after a certain while, it will break. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, but again, as you can see here at the bottom, it shows you the different stats. So this one obviously gives you more of a strength stat or more physical defense, whereas the bandage is more um, magical defense. Right, right. Okay. So as you can see here, the defense is just obviously in most RPGs like this, you obviously get different things mm, to affect yeah. different ways. So I'm just going to with, stick with my leather glove because... Lucky enough, I know what's coming up. I was going to say, the amount of times you've played this, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so obviously I'm, I want to keep, obviously, what I know to... <laughs> well, get, get them all optimised then, get them ready to... Yeah, essentially. You know, But I'm going to, I'm gonna, gonna obviously... <laughs> I'm going to keep my sword out for now. <laughs> you know, it's always a good thing to have swords. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to equip a buckler because, you know, you need a little shield. Alright, I can dig it. Okay, is there a benefit to not having the shield on? I assume it like raises your speed and all that. Or? The, with the buckler equipped, it actually decreases your in agility by one. Oh, okay, okay. Um, 
But obviously you get two-handed weapons where you can't use a buckler. But, but you I, do a shitload of hit damage there. Yeah, but I would happily sacrifice one agility for extra defence mm. in this game anyway. Since you've got one guy who you don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Alright. So obviously... This is all the different items you get to use, obviously, as in all RPGs. It's generous, isn't it? That's a lot of shit right there. Yeah. Um, wow. Risk will come into it eventually. You'll understand what risk is. But it's it's an annoying thing to um, keep it monitor. Okay. We can say. Um, and obviously, like you say, this most RPGs, they have different status effects. Status effects and healing items. Yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, got you. Okay, right. Let's just crack on anyway. So this is the save point here. I'm going to quickly save it, just because... So in order to save it, you go to your menu. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to get used to the buttons again. What's nice about streaming in general is once we've gotten, like, once it's become clear what we're doing and it all kind of starts making sense, what we can do is uh, then just start talking about other things and we can <laughs> take it easy. But for now, yeah. we're all informative. We're on that, strictly on that info train right there. Yeah. All right, so... We'll go to the next room. Before we continue, Sam, did you want anything to drink, by the way? I've got my milkshake. I'm all good. I'm going to grab myself a quick... Bam, a bat. Something. Ah. Uh, bats are nothing. So, bear with me. i just got to get used to, um... The buttons again. So, obviously, the buttons in the, on the PC are a bit different to, um... To how you used to have, yeah. you used to have them set, and obviously that is. I need to get when we get. Uh, I don't know why it keeps on randomly doing that. Mm. By the way, thank you very much for the uh, translation there, Quasar Stella. So, uh, oh, sorry, I think I ducked out of your game there. So after some research and it being your mother language, Mullenkamp translates to garbage dump. <laughs> well, I didn't even know that one. But... <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. That's. Fair enough. Fair dues. Oh. Are you still in control of the game there? Oh, sorry, I clicked you out of it. Blah. Yeah. Professional streaming. <laughs> so obviously this door is prevent um, locked by magic, so now... There we go, we need a grimoire. Hmm. Yeah. Beer. <laughs> you drink a beer. Mm-hmm. Right. Go up here and take a look at this! Sorry, I might want to voice these guys because they're super cockney. <laughs> or at least I, in my head headcanon, they're super cockney. So obviously my, your character doesn't know what a grimoire is. I thought that word was like common, a common word, meaning book. <laughs> is this just a world where no one reads books, or...? Um, yeah, obviously. They're all illiterate. They're all illiterate. They're yeah. all dum-dums. Well, if it's arcane language, then it'll be a bit harder to understand. Okay, that's fair. And there's a floating rock, obviously. Oh. And a worm! A dragon was sighted at the Duke's manor! Well, if there's magic about, dragons won't be far behind. I worry about Guildenstern and the others. Ah, they'll be fine. Think of it. If we witness, they, they have the exact same voice. They're twins. If we witness <laughs> miracles such as these on Leamon's doorstep, what then lies within? You and I even say like a crest, brother. Surely the maesters know. Maesters, Christ, it's time back into F10. Uh, know of this grimoire? Mayhaps we've just been in the dark, eh? <laughs> there are charges to drop those worn caps. <laughs> Scoundrels! <laughs> and procure the miracles of Leomond! <laughs> Sorry, this dialogue is really funny. Um, rubbish! <laughs> We're servants of the Lord! <laughs> so these are obviously Cardinals men. Right, right. And they're not down with Sydney and his black magic nonsense. Of that garbage, garbage dump magic. <laughs> What is right. this sorcery? They, they're getting so wound up over this floating platform, Jesus. <laughs> it's such a point of contention. So if, if if you notice, these guys essentially want magic to fight Sydney, so fight fire with fire, essentially. Right, right. Which I'm going to assume becomes our MO. Essentially, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, oh, hello, ghost child. Bye, ghost child. Shit. Well, that gave us away. Right, so obviously. Let's fuck the these head. guys up. You're not escaping me. <laughs> I like the combat at the moment, just, but the game's trying to get away from you! <laughs> You're just slicing it through the air! Before you can land, that's so cruel! Yeah. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, essentially, if you're quick enough, you can... Cheese them before they can yeah. do anything, that's great. Oh, I missed. Oh, unless you miss. I hit, I hit a rock. Okay. So, in this game, the physical elements actually matter, so if you try and attack an enemy from above, you'd just probably hit the rock he's standing on. Right. Oh, so, you mean beneath, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, if you're beneath someone and you try and attack up, you'll hit the rock instead of them. And if you're above them and try to attack down, once I assume they can... You, you can just only... completely miss. Oh, really? Okay. Um, obviously, because range affects a lot, so if you have a pole arm or a spear, it's a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have that, then you just... So you got to play sensibly, like like an actual fight. Why so, is it? <laughs> this here is a container where you can store weapons oh. that you no longer you don't want to use. Right. So it is essentially storage. Cool. Um, did you want to store any, that thing you're not using, or you found that? Ah, be all right. You never know. I might never need it. Hmm. Woo! The sorcery. Yeah, essentially. I like that. I like that. They got so wound up over that platform and then they just got stabbed horribly by you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's Another snowing in here. Joy. Joy of joys. It's a Christmas miracle. Oh, wait, no, that was just Earthquake. Dogs! Goddamn dogs and bats. Get out of here. That's a pretty scary looking dog. Bad dog. Chasing the postman, bad dog. <laughs> this is the bit I, I had. This is an old bit. I, last time you played this game, I kept doing that, but I'm still going to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're all bad dogs. Alrighty, so um, well, well, how do you feel about the level design of this game? Because I kind of, I kind of think, I think it's kind of cool how this is like a big multi-tiered 3D dungeon. Like they're really pushing the fact that. PlayStation could do 3D. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, so obviously here we go. Look at this guy right here, he looks like bloody M&M. &M. <laughs> so essentially, they're, they're, they're the Crimson Blades them guys there. Right. So obviously, sorry, they are Cardinal Men who Ashley was imposing as Guildenstern. Right. Who was the guy from the Duke's Manor. That, that makes sense. Got it, got it. Okay. Um, oh, you mean that um, Sydney was like pretending to be Sydney, yeah? Yeah. Right, right. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, got I, it. I like to boil down JRPG plots to the ultimate simplicity, so the way I'm looking at this is like Ashley, good guy. Um, everything Sydney else bad. bad. Everything else a bad guy. <laughs> Yeah, everything. that's essentially what you got to take from this. Oh, black-haired lady, also good guy, also friend. Good guy. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> good lady. Everyone else bad. Murder everything else. But the good thing about this game is there's a sort of puzzles to the game as well. Ah, the block puzzles, which... In most games, block puzzles are the worst thing ever, but this game, they kind of work, and I, I couldn't begin to tell you what it is about them. I think it's because they're quite simple. And obviously this and... guy's a very simplistic character, um, who... <laughs> Good um, shot, nerds. <laughs> what are you doing? But um, so as you can see, the elements of the um. Oh no! Ow, he got me that time. So okay, how about we fuck him up before he gets back again? Ow! When he just critted me, this this doesn't look good for me. Okay, beat him up a bit. Yeah. I think what it is is the block the block puzzles aren't that bad because you can refresh them and just do them again if you screw them up. Yeah. And they don't take long in general. No. It's very simple block puzzles, but the fact that the game has them just makes it a little bit extra, I guess. Bit of extra content just yeah. to stop it getting stagnant. And again, another earthquake, of course. God, this game loves its earthquakes. Well, this place was destroyed by an earthquake. Whoa. And obviously the earthquakes changed the element of the map. 
Wow, okay. I feel sorry for that guy. <laughs> we did we did butcher him pretty badly. Right, so now obviously the whole map's checked and there's a bat around. Oh the fucking fish. bats. Most rooms Fuck in this up. game, if I remember correctly, you kind of walk into, into them with your weapon drawn, just ready to hit the bat that's going to ambush you. <laughs> yeah, essentially, that's how it works. <laughs> so many rooms try and pull that nonsense. Alright. Oh, so. there's a wolf down here and I just fell onto it. You bad dog! Get in the kennel! No biting! Bad dog. I there wonder we when we're going to get our Stabby McStab stick. Oh yeah, you get to name weapons in this, and yeah, and the best thing to do with all of them is call them Stabby McSwordface and all that sort of thing. So now I've been trapped in a room with loads of animals. So many bad dogs. Well, that was nothing. Bad dog. Stop eating the post. Oh yeah. Bad dog, leave the cats alone. What's that? You weed on the rug? Oh, bad dog. That was Critical definitely hit. bad dog. You smell that pee. Look what you did. <laughs> Rub your face in it. Oh, dearie me. Ashley Wright is a very strict dog owner. Oh, uh, now I've got a um, crossbow. Seventh Heaven. That's a straight up uh, Final Fantasy VII reference. I love it. Oh, wait, no. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventh Heaven. Yeah. So there are a lot of like hidden alcoves and hidden chests and all that kind of tucked around corners in this game, yeah? Yeah. Cool. you got to always search room. Obviously you can go first person. I didn't know you could do that. You never showed me that the one time last <laughs> time you played this. Well, you can do that, but obviously... Even then it's going to be hard to see things around corners. You can tell roughly from... If you look on the map as well, it gives you a slight um, inkling of how the map looks. Right. That makes sense. Mm. So that's your main like identifier then. Yeah. Oh, such bad dogs. Um, bad. And the issue with this one, the leveling up is highly irritating. Mm. Stop pulling on the lead, bad dog. Ah, oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, bloody bats. Get down. All right. Um, I like that the blocks are all there, ready for a block pushing puzzle. But oh, 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 sorry, they are—they are to be used. Ah, yeah. I need to give this game more credit. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, vagrant story. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, more bad dogs. Bat, bat, bat. I could deal with that up here. Hmm. All right. This dog is. Look at that darn dog. <laughs> Oh, he just destroyed the block. What I'm gonna oh, need. that's genuinely bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> that was a dick that move. Was my puzzle, that was my puzzle box. Bad dog. That was a genuinely you dick move. Lie right down there. and think about what you've done. Wow. Oh, is he wow, actually? Wow. Is he actually ruined the puzzle for you? Gonna no, I'm pretty sure I only need one. Okay. So I've never seen an AI in a game do that before. I just go. You need this to progress. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> just break the thing. No, I put it in the wrong spot. Oh, okay. Need to do it. There. And then... It's a big if. Jump. You can make this jump. Oh, you can. Pretty well, in fact. Oh, you're in battle mode. Right, now I have to be quick, I believe. Oh. The, the door, door is closing. closing. Quick, I've got two oh, seconds. Oh, jeez, three seconds. <laughs> That's just me. Ashley made it through. I like that it had to tell us that. You could have just... Gone through. Oh, flashback. Oh, I think right. this is a pretty tragic flashback, in truth. So this is how you learn about Ashley's past, which... A little I, bit of Ashley's past, yeah. If I remember correctly, he's like amnesiac, so he doesn't know about all this stuff, or... Yeah. That classic he doesn't. Trope. He doesn't know a lot about his past, obviously. Um, and there's that... The boy. And obviously that is his son, by the looks of things. Right. Papa? Hello, my child. I love you, son. You're my favorite boy. Your name is Scrimmy now. My favorite little boy, Scrimmy. 
can't wait to see more Scrimmy. He's my favourite character. There you go. That's the way to do it. Nice. Just, just spam the button Slice until eventually it gets in range. Obviously, the combat is simple at the moment, but it'll get more complicated as you get more into the swing of things, because that's generally how these games do. So much doinks. There we go. Man, it's it's um, impressive how quickly you're blazing through this. Are you, uh, in fact, are you near a boss fight right now? Or? I think I'm near a mini boss. Yeah. A mini boss, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Nope. Uh, we'd have to buy actually, don't need. Um, we'd have to uh, grab him. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't need, but might as well have. Essentially, yeah. Oh, I always get the buttons mixed up. Oh, I just realised your HP like slowly raises over time. That's really yeah, cool. it's, it does slowly regenerate. I believe now this is where you get to learn battle arts. Yes, yeah. And this is where right, it's all about chain up. links. About timed button presses, which kind of makes this game more akin to like Paper Mario or like the um, issue on Super Mario RPG and all those games. Yeah, the issue with this one though is. The more chain links you get, the less chance it's going to hit, and you get a thing called risk. So you see where it says risk is zero at the moment? Yeah. The more chain links you do, the, the risk gets really high. So when that risk is really high, it means you have a harder chance to hit the enemy, mm -hmm. and also they do more damage to you. Right, so you can go all in attacking, but it will lower your defence if you get carried away. And now here is a Minotaur. Hello, Minotaur. Is that how you say it? Minotaur? I've always said Minotaur. Min I, I call it Minotaur because... I know. It's just different pronunciations depending yeah. on uh, backgrounds, isn't it? Essentially, yeah. Uh, My first li uh, literal first acting role was playing Theseus going against the Minotaur, and that's when I was like 10 years old. So, so fucking yeah. risking it. Oh, yeah, nice hit. Oh. Oh. And Go miss. On, or not. Okay. Ow. Ouch. As you can see, every time you get hit, your risk goes up. And I just killed a mini boss in wow. two hits. That was, that was surprisingly easy. Lucky, lucky. Ooh, is that blood? No, oh, it's magic. Okay. Um, I eventually... I got lucky enough with two crits. Mm. So, and this is your levelling up. Every You only level up through, um, obviously, defeating bosses. So this here, this is essentially your leveling up. You get spin of the wheel. So I ah. just got plus three strength, which is pretty good. That's awesome. By the way, hello Kasinzi. Hope everything's all right. We're streaming some uh, vagrant story. Well, as you can see here, these are what the grimoires are. So this is obviously the key. What we need to get open the door. Yep. Um, and healing, healing, and, and regenerating. Degenerating. Nice. All right. So they're all the, pretty handy skills. Are the grimoires you get set in stone? They're not like randomly random drops or anything, or um, I've like noticed... the ones you get are like they, are you scripted to get them at certain times or? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, so the game balances around them. Yeah. So obviously, what? Are you using a lot of magic? Does it like boost your magic stat or? Unfortunately, no. The only way to boost your magic stats is you can, you, you find, you can find items mm -hmm. to increase your stats, um, or you obviously at the spin of the wheel. Oh, right, right. And now there's another cutscene because I was about to leave. Tell you what, if you have a whole wheel spinning mechanic then, is it not a good idea to like save before each boss, and if you don't get the stats you want, then just... Uh, Retry the boss, yeah, essentially. Yeah. Mm. But obviously I'm just going to do a main run through, so we won't bother waiting around doing all of that. Okay. Because I, I roughly know the game well enough to realise what's going to be happening. So. Right, right. So now we're face to face with Sydney, obviously, um, for Broiler here. He is, it looks like he is wearing Arsus Chaps and a thong, yes. <laughs> um, that's the re that's it. That is reasonable, yeah. That is essentially, you just summed up Ashley. Um, but yeah, so obviously he's the main bad guy, obviously, because, ah, uh, sorry, I can pro can't pronounce your name. Broiler. Kassinzi. There we yeah. go. Thank you, David. Um, he's the main, but main bad guy in the in the game. Um, so you're obviously trying to hunt this guy down, who is um, pretty badass, really. He's a kind of immortal. He seems like yeah, he seems like a magic culty guy. Yeah. It's almost as if, as if you had no soul. And then the plot thickens. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Protagonist is is, is he's soulless. He thought he thought um what's his name? Nomura's being clever with the whole nobody business in Kingdom Hearts, but nope, Squaresoft are already on that shit. Emotionless protagonist is totally a thing they've already done. Um, I can't remember who the designer is. Can you remember who the designer was? I haven't got a clue, but I've got my phone on hand, so let oh, me do some. Uh, let me do some googling. Let's get get down to the rabid googling. All right. So obviously, obviously now Ashley's going to. Um, sorry, Sydney's going to enlighten Ashley in a little bit about his past, because obviously Sydney knows everything. Mm. In this, see, he obviously has no soul. Okay. And uh, there we go. The plot thickens. Wikipedia, give me all answers. Okay. Who designed this? Director, producer, programmer, artist. Artists were Hiroshi Minagawa and Akihiku Yoshida. Uh, I don't think that's either of the names you mentioned. Um, that's just artists, so I might be finding them. Oh, it directed by Matsuno. So yeah, you got Matsuno on that one. Yeah, directed so, and produced. As you can tell, this is a flashback. Is what you can tell is <laughs> boy, look at that boy, screamy. He looks so happy. Look at his hair though, it doesn't look at antenna-ish. Just Don't antenna -ish worry, boy. The front. One day you'll have antenna and then you will truly be a man. Mwah. I love you, my polygonal wife. It's kind of tragic what happens though. It's kind of horrible. I have a funny feeling. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! So this is why he's supposed to lock his um, soul away. <laughs> and he got murdered on a picnic. <laughs> the murder picnic. Yeah. Some have a, some series have a red wedding. He has a red picnic. <laughs> Yeah, so... Shit. Do you think that'd be the reason why he locked his soul away? That sounds about right. I mean, yeah. Oh, so... He didn't kill them. That evidently didn't happen. They got killed while he was, like, faffing, if anything. Now, that's not how these... <laughs> that's not how this works. <laughs> So he's essentially calling you a bad dad and just bad at everything. <laughs> You're a terrible at fatherhood. Fuck you. You're just a terrible man. How dare you let him die? So now you're gonna play a game of cat and mouse. All right, just chasing each other around. Harden. Oh, Harden's back. Oh, he's got your girl. Oh snap, Merlos. We've only just heard her name, but Merlos. Yeah, we established Sydney was a terrible name. We just assumed that Sydney is well, Australia, right? <laughs> yeah, the Australian capital. <laughs> Let's go find Sydney. <laughs> I don't know. Seymour's a pretty bad name. Seymour is also a bad. Seymour and Sydney, Jesus. One day they'll team up in the ultimate, <laughs> in the ultimate, <laughs> the ultimate square soft crossover. Yeah. yeah. And Sephiroth's <laughs> just there, completely showing up both of them. Essentially. Or Kefka, rather. Kefka would show up everybody. So obviously this is the game he's playing. And he obviously likes being chased, obviously. Hmm. I'm starting to think this is kind of a kink thing, Sydney. I don't think but you're getting off on this more than you're <laughs> letting on. He is waiting for you, obviously. Chase me. Chase me into the shadows. Come, Ashley boy. Oh. Oh snap. This is where you learn battle arts. That was helpful. <laughs> that just kind of happened. Oh, is this he? Oh, so he's his memory's been wiped, but he can learn attacks from when before. Essentially, yes. Yeah, so in. obviously, right. um, he knew how to do all of this fighting before, but obviously his memories he he has no memory. So right. in order for you to learn these things, you essentially learn them via unlocking new memories. If that makes sense. That's an interesting. A lot of video games. Add the amnesia plot line, but don't tie it into the gameplay. That's a clever way of doing it. It makes more sense to your character just kind of going, I am more powerful now, and I can do this attack, suddenly. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, so as you can see here, um, battle abilities is... I can show you what they are. So as you can see here, each thing do different things. So I'm going to set that to circle. Wow. So triangle to square, okay? 
So obviously if you can look on here, you can see that they all do different things. So heavy shot is obviously a, a more and you, you want to use them in the right kind of order yeah, to maximise your power against them. If things. you use the same, you can't use the same chain ability over and over again. Right. Okay, so you've got to swap between them. So obviously, um, if, if, if you look here, um, it's probably the best combination to use mm -hmm. is, I would say, go for the heavy shot to start with and then temper. Because then anything you lose, you gain back through temper. You right. it's, it gives you a little damage buff. And then you can use heavy shot again. You only really need to use gain life when you are hurt, essentially. Okay. So I'll show you what the. And obviously, that was too fast. Ah, so you've got to get the timing right. So, you well. see the explanation mark? Yeah. Obviously, it's. That's that, that's that's changed, and it also it also works um, when you're being attacked as well. Hmm. It's cool that they give you this nice practice on, that's pretty yeah. sweet. But obviously I got away from my wrist to go down. Oh. It obviously goes down a lot quicker when you don't have your weapon shift. Or you have your weapon shift. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna risk it with not that much health. But okay. Let's just go in there, that's what that's what risk is. Let's and it also works, I'll, I'll show you what it's like with the defending. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Well, you can do it with also defending as well. So I haven't actually set the defense bars. So that would help. Yeah, set those up, and then we can check how those do. So obviously, each of the things do a different thing. Um, so if an enemy uses paralysis or numbness, you can obviously prevent it. So mm -hmm. it's a triangle. Reflect damage as well. So if anyone hit impacts you, you can reflect that damage back to them, or they says they're forty percent of the damage they make. And cool. that one just guards. That's just the guard. That's out, just out guarding. Of them. All right. Um, the battle system is a bit getting to used to, used to but it's really easy to learn. It, it feels like an RPG version of like Arkham Asylum's combat, in that it's all about hitting the right button, getting the right button press with the right timing. Yeah. 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 So obviously this will just broke the box I'm going to need. Really. Fucking bad dog! Get oh, back I'm in sorry. the kennel! I'll let him attack me again to show off. Obviously, I'm pretty no, this rubbish is, this is dog is too, it's too bad of a dog. Yeah, I'm just too slow for this dog, obviously. Now I'm too <laughs> fast for it. So, I'm really, really trying to. There you go, that's you. I'm no, sure no, you I'm have to be can't... facing him to pull this off. Yeah. So okay, obviously... the fact that he's running around you is kind of what's getting you here. How about we just hit the bad dog? There we go. We roll up the newspaper. Ah, oh, and I just go. got healed from it. Although it wasn't really worth it after all that butchering you just took. <laughs> I know I was standing there letting it, I was just, my timing isn't very good when it comes to the defensive side of things, <laughs> okay. unfortunately. That's our one downfall, our one pitfall, <laughs> yeah. playing this. You, bad dogs. I'm, I'm a lot better at um, the attacking side of things. Right, right. I think the best chain link I've got is 38. Mm-hmm. But eventually, it gets to, it gets to a certain point where um, it's your risk pointless. is so high that you're not going to do any <laughs> yeah. damage anymore. Yeah, or right. it's just you have like a three percent chance of hitting. Which that's that's hilarious. I love it. Is, oh, is there no way of like stopping and increasing your risk like mid combo or? Um, unfortunately, no, there isn't. Um, okay. The risk just goes higher and higher. Fair enough. Um. <laughs> I like that. Knocking the dog over, almost, oh, almost spitefully. That was um, Jesus. Hmm? Me reflecting the damage back to it, but obviously it didn't do enough damage to me in the first place for me to reflect it. Ah, okay. Oh, on the table. Sorry. Let me try and shuffle that a bit. Ah, I it. As you can see in the early games, um, ugh, really, as I'm shuffling. Ah. Bloody bat. Bloody bastard what Bloody bastard bat. Oh, yeah, sorry. I should probably have learned that. In order to learn magic, you have to use the grimoire. Right, right. Oh. So I guess oh. now's a good time to show off your, using your yeah. sword grimoire. Um, I'll just kill this one. Though. See, that, all the damage we would take up to now it was intentional to show off the cure. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah, that's... that's we were meant to do that. Those, those attacking of the um, the dog was purpose. Mm, mm. So obviously I'll go to my um, 
items and go to the bottom. As you can see here, that's where all your grimoires are. Oh, sorry. You just kind of use one. Yeah, so obviously I'm going to use the hill. Unfortunately, you can accidentally use this on your enemy as well. Although I feel like you have to be a bit of a dummy to do that, because surely that means... Because by default it's going to aim at you, so that means like hitting the cursor and pointing at someone else, which... Yeah. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> so if that happens, then you deserve to be killed. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's that's like a Fallout thing, like the amount of times in Fallout that I'll accidentally hit my cursor, oh, kill an innocent, and then everyone wants me to die. Right, yeah. yeah. So obviously in this game there are traps. And eventually you get magic to spot these traps in the room. Um, but I'm kind of... They're, they're, they're highly irritating things. But they're not like really that crippling if you've got healing magic, so... No, of course not. I guess the alternative is just go through the room in an odd way that the designers wouldn't anticipate you to go. Yeah, so essentially most traps... Oh, are like directly ahead of you when you enter a room. Yeah. So you can avoid them. Mm -hmm. So where I'm standing now, this is roughly where a trap would be. Right. It's funny if it'd be funny if you said that and then got hit by a trap. That would be the best. But yeah, it, it wouldn't because they're the most. Oh, that. that oh my god! Ride Good it. dog. Although bad dog for going on the platform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good dog for pulling off your stunt, but bad dog for pet meddling with the arcane. <laughs> That's not for dogs. We're meant to have chew toys and fetch, that's all. Hey there, Death Sandals, hope all is well. We're just, uh, vagrant storying, if you will. There we go, I can get into the door now. Woo. Hoorah! Oh. Right. I remember when you first played this and you, like, I think oh. you said, oh god, he got really fucked. But, um, <laughs> I remember you saying something along the lines of, uh, I think it was like a misunderstanding where I thought that this entire game was set in like this one dungeon, but no, they, you do go to other places, thankfully. Um, it's, it's all set in Liam Mundo. Yeah, yeah. But not this dungeon. It's, it's, it's just a massive dungeon, essentially, with different areas, I would say. Ah. And obviously, um, there's now... A zombie. zombie time! Time for Zombos. Yes. Liam Mundo's... Liam Mundo Zombos. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, I still healed you. Yeah. This isn't this isn't like a Final Fantasy thing then when using where yeah. using throwing a zombie actually hurts it, is that is it not? Or is it? Yeah. Wait, really? You can Oh you can you can hurt them by curing them, that's that owes. Oh no, you you end up just you heal them. Oh okay, okay. Sorry. I always love games that allow you to hurt the undead by healing them. There's something I think there's a reason why there's off about a, it. Um, Are you looking for a hidden item or a hidden yeah, something or other? No, oh, there isn't it. It's just, it's sometimes they put boxes like that in the game to make you think that there's actual a puzzle. It's a red herring, just to mess with you. Yeah, essentially, to make you look around. Fair dues, fair dues. Oh, I didn't get my weapon out. That went clever. Oh, I've got a new weapon, by the way. I see. I'm what did sure you get? A rapier. Oh, we'll have a little look at that in a second. I think this does, that's good against um, zombies, obviously. That's helpful, then. Yeah. Obviously, this is Sydney bringing things back to life. Oh, while I'm here, I might as well try out my new grimoire, which is obviously degenerate. Degenerate. Strength is down, so it weakens them. That's pretty helpful. Dang, that's a good animation as well for it. Oof. There we go. Right, it's so great that you master it in one use as well. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to quickly check out my new weapon. So I'm pretty sure that the rapier does more damage to undead. We'll find out, I suppose. No, it don't. Um, oh. It does more damage, though, but it, by sacrificing my agility. Agility is pretty helpful, though, what with the combos and all that. Um, Should we stick with the Fandango, or maybe try out the crossbow? We'll try the crossbow. Okay. I've never really tried out the crossbow. I don't really like it. I guess while, you know, you're in a situation like this where they literally Cause... can't reach you, the crossbow would be great. Yeah. It's just cheeses, it just cheeses them for you. Oh, you just gotta get the angle right. Yeah. Skadoosh. 
Oh, yeah. can you do the combos with crossbow? You can, yes. Oh, wow, that's even better then. Let's do this. Obviously, I'm, I'm terrible with the combos get, with Get this the timing one. on it. Yeah, once you yeah. get the timing, though. Oh, <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. Alright. I dig crossbow combos. All uh, games need crossbow combos. Obviously, this weapon don't do a lot of damage to undead. Right. But I mean, even if they're not even, if they can't even get to you, though. Oh, how did he pull that off from that distance? Oh, yeah, big bloody axe weapon. Yeah. All right. Ooh, Shoot that mofo. Oh, yeah. wow, I'm really bad with the timing for this one. It's fine, it's fine. That's the nice thing about being a long distance, at least. After you beat this zombie, do you want to put away the crossbow and never use it again, maybe? <laughs> no, maybe this are, there are some enemies in this game that you absolutely hate fighting that are like super weak to the crossbow. And you've just never realised. It'd be good against the dragons eventually, because I could just stay away from them. See, there you go, positive side. And zombo down. That was a bunch of zombies. And now, there. as you can see, you see the risk at the top there. Mm hmm. Um, Pretty darn high. Yeah. Well, it can get a lot higher than that. But obviously, now, eventually, the more you use the battle ability, the more you, you can learn new ones. So. Um, I want that one. Oh, damn. Alright, okay. So, we're just going to assume this guy was like level 99 god tier before his memories got wiped, uh, and everything he learns is going to like. Turn him into a god again. Essentially, yeah. Alright. Obviously, I could have come up here and it would have been a lot easier for me, but, you know. <laughs> just really cheese those zombos. Yeah. Just don't give them a bloody chance. Just use the terrain to fuck with them. Essentially, yeah. Is it possible to knock enemies off of, like, ladders and all that sort of thing if they try and chase after you? Unfortunately, no. Oh, that would be great. That'd be really fun. Never mind. Um, I'm gonna equip my rapier. Just because it looks kinda cool. Looking cool is a good reason to equip anything, really. It's a perfect stabbing stick. <laughs> that's 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 that's, that's so, a good descriptor for pretty much any sword. As you can see, where stick. I've used this debuckler against a certain enemy, mm -hmm. I've now got an extra defense against human and beast. Ah. So the right. more you use, so especially when it comes to armor, it, it does a lot more better. Eventually, you get um certain. So here, as you can see here as well. So right. obviously, I'm going to put so the. You get extra board. perks and all that, or extra points in if you really work with them. Yeah. I could dig that. That's a cool idea. Oh, I was meant to pull my weapon up. Um, a good all idea right, for this. For dogs. Bad dog. Bad dog. So a good idea for this game is always have your sword when you're going through a room. Because <laughs> enemies do pounce on you pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. Especially those bloody bats who like usually are like floating above the door when you enter the room. Essentially, yeah. So now I'm going for a thick double doors. Excellent. Mm-hmm. I hear a lot of zombies. Oh, that's never a good thing. It's like when you're playing the Resident Evil. When you hear just a zombie in the background, you just start panicking when you go to where <laughs> it's it is. Like, where, where is it? It's around somewhere. And this is... Oh, this is their armour. Oh, this guy. I remember this guy. His medieval mofo. He is highly... Resistant to pretty much everything. And he yeah, so the best bet to do, um, obviously, is to use the generate. Alright. Just because it just weakens him in general. Oh, I'll do that. Two more of those, one or two more of those, or is it, uh, is it not stuck? Unfortunately, there's a 55% chance of me hitting it, or I can just go for the 23. I think I'll rather go for that. Mm -hmm. Go for that one. Oh, that was close. It's alright, at least it didn't boost your risk too high. That'd be a real 
Gotcha. Uh, and this is where it drains my health. And it's still good. That sucks. It's only oh, 16, so it's not too bad. Even yeah. still, that's pretty sucky. Oh, then again. Yeah. <laughs> it take a couple of minutes. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. Get that, get that base in. As soon as you nail that base. And yeah, I think we're boxing. Oi! You just lay into it. Another mini boss, of course. That's not like Oh, that's, that's not what the boss is. That's the mini boss. Alright. And yeah, that is very nice of Mali to stand there using magic. Um. Um. So, let's, let's, let's hope for the best. See what I get this time. Normal agent. And you're going to boost your. Oh, HP. Help, help, your strength and HP so far. Your murder, your kill potential is, is strong. So here we go. This is also a way, as you can see here, adds a few points of HP. This is another way how you increase your. Ah, uh, so just use those whenever you, as soon as yeah. you get them. Okay. And this is an awesome spell when it comes to undead enemies. Just blast them with light power. That's rad. Okay. Hey, two pirate, by the by. Lovely to see you here. We're we're enjoying our nice little story of vagrants. At the moment, crawling dungeons and beating up bad dogs. <laughs> and now I've just got a, a rusty nail. Obviously, it's a, a spear. <laughs> okay, that's not a very flattering name for it, is it? <laughs> no, not at all. Um, if I could, if I believe correctly, it does a pretty good against. And obviously, there you go. Oh wow, that Fandango is good at killing people now. Yeah. So obviously, the more you use it, the better it goes. Hmm. And obviously, if you look at the PP, where I've used it so much, yeah. it's at the max. Rad, rad. Um, so I'm going to um, stick with using the Rapier at the moment because it gives me more, more more strength anyway, so I might as well keep that it. Although that one does give me the plus five to humans, but eventually, the more you use a weapon, the more you use different things. Um, yes, <laughs> well, he has got antenna, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're being all informative, then <laughs> like every comment is something on the lines of Main character looks dumb! <laughs> Essentially, yeah. So what these gems do is they do certain things. So they go increase the success rate of non-magical attacks. Mm. So it makes it easier to um, hit things. I can so take it. Well, set up, not, just not with magic. Attach gems. Only certain weapons you can attach it. So the only way I can attach it is to the rusty nail, unfortunately. But well, I don't really use it, so... We'll just leave it off we'll of everything it. for now, then. I'm pretty sure you can put it on your shield, but there's no point putting a... Um, you can't, obviously, because it's an An offensive ability on yeah. a defensive weapon. Yeah. Right, a de defensive armor piece. Got it. Right, so when it's a blue door, it means you're going into a new area, I do believe. It's a good indicator. Or it's a safe room, sorry. Oh, even better. Where you can store stuff. You should probably start storing some of them weapons you have no intention of using. Yeah. And is this the place where you can rename weapons, or is that later? You can you, you can re rename. I've just, I've, you can rename them whenever you want. <gasps> Why haven't we been doing that? <laughs> um, in truth, I don't know. <laughs> we need to get on that right now. We need to take a moment or two to name one of our weapons silly names. Uh, this is annoying using this. What's it doing? <laughs> there we go. Right, I'm going to keep the um, Pandango out just because it's good against certain enemies and I certain mean, heaven because oh, I might as well learn how to use it. You might as well just get good at using that darn crossbow. Oh, yeah, essentially, yeah. Hmm. Oh, uh, I didn't. Speaking of get good, I'm still like considering streaming Dark Souls at some point in my life. That is an abysmal game and I'll never play again. It's a great game, you're just bad at it. <laughs> no. I had a bad moment. It is an objectively, it is objectively a good game, but it's very, very unforgiving. Yes. We'll meet. We'll meet in the middle there on that one. But yeah, everyone, everyone kind of cracks jokes about you know my gaming ability, and everyone points out that every game is like Dark Souls to me. So uh, I agree with you there, Kazinzi. Mm. Um, I I don't like it. It's a, a Ter terrible game. It's not terrible. terrible game. It's incredibly well made. It's well structured. It's, it's well designed. It's just really fucking hard. I just, I just don't like it. That's fair. That's fair. There's a lot of games that I don't like, but I won't call them bad games. By which I mean like any RTS ever. 
<laughs> I hate them all, but they're good games. I love, I love RTS right. games. Yeah, yeah. I can't play them. I just can't. I can't get a feel out of them. Oh, we get Hellhound now. Okay. Or what's the equivalent to Hellhound? <laughs> oh, missed it. That Whatever time. they are, they're bad dogs. No pooping on the carpets. Bad dog. I wonder how long I can keep this bit going on for. Well, apparently, <laughs> right now. Actually, you know what? Just to twist it, this one's actually quite a good dog. Look, I'll make him do a trick. Play dead! Good dog! Such a good dog. I hope we're learning a better off. Oh, it's sword breaker, even better. Alright, what does that do? This, um. <laughs> it's just a highly damaged. So it, it's just, it's a. Um... Oh, I remember this move, yeah. <laughs> wow! Dang! I like that you got that skeleton before he was even. a skeleton. <laughs> before he was even up on his feet doing anything. Oh, I missed it, that time. Ashley is the dog stapper! <laughs> Not a very popular show, the dog stapper. <laughs> oh, and of course I run into another trap. Oh, you wally. Yeah. They're the bane of my existence in this game. They catch me all the time. Even when I know they're there. <laughs> oh, you've got a blobby blob. Mr. Blobby is here. Oh, I don't like that. I see you just hit them real good, maybe you throw a bit of magic at them so you don't have to engage with them physically. Nah, just get that crit on. I'll just hit them hard, okay. Um, this is my favorite thing you're doing. Down. Oh, you're not you're at know, a great angle for fighting. No, that. I'm not. That's annoying, that was just a waste of the risk there. <laughs> mm. There you go, that's what you want. I like that that move the end of it actually looks oh. like he's like, oh yes, sweet relief. <laughs> Wait, here it is again. Oh yes. <laughs> he just has a split second attack. Ah, got it. <laughs> Before he could even fall through the air. Take that, you My dog risk skeleton. is pretty high at the moment, so I need to let it go down. Hence why I wasn't hitting. Did the skeleton just do a third strike parry? Fuck yes, it did. And that's great. I oh. love skeletons in video games, they're the best. So it's done it again, where it's put three boxes in a corner and... No um, real need for them. What if you break those boxes and there's something hidden inside? I'm pretty sure, actually, no, there is a reason to use them. Hmm. If I can remember correctly... By the way, yeah, just tying into the rest of the game, yes, Mr. Blobby was terrifying. I was very scared of Mr. Blobby as a child. He is basically an arbiter of chaos and destruction. And his voice sounds like auto-tuned hell. Okay, yeah, no need for these boxes at all. Mm, I find there's a doorway. Oh, there is one, okay. Mm hmm. Um, I need to think about this. Oh, wait. I remember Sonic Battle. I need to stream Sonic Battle sometime. It's definitely not one for. Oh, I maybe LP it might be a better idea, simply because that game has so much, like. Well, basically, I wouldn't even say backtracking, it just has so much repeated content that. The only way you could like present it and make it entertaining is to cut out a lot of the fluff, kind of like I do with Pokemon. It's amazing how much my expert emerald, uh, how much footage I cut out of my expert emerald videos. I've been, I've, I've been editing some of them today, and yeah, like five hours of footage down to like fifteen uh, minutes. Oh, I hit <laughs> Tried to run away. I won't miss it that time. Go on, get in. Damn skeletons. Mm. Alright, so. What are you doing with these boxes now? I, lo I love how gung ho he is with the box lift. He's just like, Hurr! right above the head. It's like, you could you could just kind of shunt them around. That's probably easier for you than. You get that when you get head. the um, the white ones. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to, You can't lift them ones physically. Lift them. You have to. That takes a lot of strength to do that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, 
I feel like you're needlessly tiring yourself out, Ashley. Take easy, my dude. Pink squirrel, there you go. That just shows you everything about her weapon. You need. Oh, that's great. Yes. How we, um, so as you see here, else? Um, the cross guard, it's a, it's, a, it's a grip so you can create different weapons. So you can essentially destroy weapons to be able to create new ones. That's amazing. All right. Is that how you make the super broken overpowered stuff then? Yeah. That's good. That's good. I can dig it. So you can only do that when you're in a um, workshop though. Let's rename the current weapon we're using to something more whimsical and charming. Rename. Alright, we're going to rename the rapier, what we're currently using. And this one's obviously going to be Stabby Stick. I think Stabby Stick sounds like... Yeah. Pre-established name right there. So we'll get more we're going with rest. Stabby Stick, yeah? Yep, Stabby Stick. Oh, this is this is awful. Oh, stabs! Oh, that was an accident, but that's great. Stabs. Call it stabs. <laughs> With a Z at the end. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, stabs. So we're, we're sticking with stabs. Stabs the rapier. My favourite new Sonic character. Stabs the rapier. Um, going to disassemble some weapons we're not using. Like I the, think the pink squirrel is a, cool, is a unique weapon. So you don't want to disassemble it, or you no, do? Want as it? you can see here, you see the um, it has the eye next to it. Oh, okay, yeah. So bronze, 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 bronze is iron, so it's going to do more damage. Um, obviously compared, as you can see here, the stats as well. Mm. It's a lot more better in general. Better in general for my thing, but um, stabs, it's getting there. I'm on plus. It's on one of the beasts now, and the PP's nearly maxed out, so. It's a case of do you want to grind up the weapons that you've been using or get the new ones and grind those up? Mm, it's... This one does more damage as well than the pink squirrel yeah. for now, so I'm going to stick with the stabs. Stick with stabs for now. Alright. Um, I might have to just swap buttons. I know obviously I'll... but it gives me more defense, and right now I need some more defense. Defense is good. Anything to stop you dying. Just get more used to healing as well. Like just bust out your healing a bit more if you know you need it. Mm, it's true. Hmm. So I can keep my sandals, um, but I'll lose. Can we rename the sandals to Death Sandals? In... Oh, unfortunately, I don't think you can rename the weapons. Oh, I'll just rename, the armor. Um, um, okay. I can check. We'll try. We'll try. Um, All for Death Sandals there. Oh yeah, that is definitely better than the jerkin. Unfortunately, the is issue is you. Um, you can't change what you look like. That's how you look like. Mm, yeah. So yeah, as you can see, you can only read really weapons. Weapon only. Okay. Sorry, we've still got stabs. That's the main thing. Yeah, we still have stabs. And um, there is one thing what I can do though, actually. I want to think of it. Because I'm pretty sure the pink squirrel you can actually attach. I oh, know. Oh, still any rusty, rusty now. now. All right. We'll just keep the sandals on. That'll be our tribute to you, sandals. Obviously, we'll he don't that. take full damage either, so it's all good. He could have jumped out of that window. Yeah, we should have done. Why oh, bat! Oh, bat. Jesus! Bat. <laughs> oh, that bat fucked you up real bad. God damn. Come out of nowhere. <laughs> I am the knight! <laughs> oh, we're going to run dead face. guy. Oh. Uh, let's go for a round. Oh, you scary, scary Oh, Oh, look at that. Oh, that fridge is going to get that lock. Hey, eh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> then you immediately just crush him afterwards. Ooh. Oh, you got a... Yeah, there's a club. There's a oh. random, randomly acquired item right there. That's pretty decent. Oh, always have my weapon equipped. Right, I hear some skeletons and a wolf. Mid-air kill. Bad dog. No flying. You keep your paws on the ground. I think he died, though. Exactly. That's what I said. And they say dogs can't fly. <laughs> I love that, Death Sandals. Naming, naming your next weapon in a game, Mr. Blobby's Cock. <laughs> Jesus. Right. So, there's a doorway there and a locked door there. That's all the locked door says. Alright, where, where are we going then? Oh, it's not just that one. The Whoa, there's um <laughs> I like the odd specificness of that. It would take an earthquake to open this. <laughs> then he turns around expectantly, just waiting for an earthquake to just happen for him. 
Oh no. Oh, this room. No. This, no. I don't like this enemy. Oh, this enemy. Oh, this enemy sucks oh. to fight. Oh. Ghost. And I've got, I've got a minute to kill it. Where is it? There. So you gotta like get in there and like flack it immediately as soon as it appears. Oh, I'm gonna use this. Now we get to see awesome magic. Spirit surge. But break, uh, it doesn't Patch do a lot of damage. Right, it's a, yes, whatever. it does look like that. Yes, a condom goes. Something strange in your neighborhood. <laughs> Always use protection. There we go. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Oh, wow, it. that was a fair bit of damage. Oh, and he runs, he fucks up. So you gotta like get him before he can respawn and then hit him immediately with magic yeah. again. Or whatever, really. No, obviously. Oh. It was a lot quicker that time than. The last time we played this, that thing took you bloody ages. Well, here we go, it's a convenient earthquake. <laughs> That's great. Also, now you, because since you've pointed out his, his hair is kind of like bunny ears, I kind of love his hair a bit more now. <laughs> it, it does, actually, come to think of it. Oh now my gosh, it. Ashley Wright is a Playboy bunny. We Ooh, never realised. <laughs> oh, God. God, you yeah, I know about Round the Twist. Round the Twist owned. Great show. Oh, is that it? Plus two to HP. Rip off. Oh, David. Hmm? Yes, then he not. Have I just sorry? Have I just disconnected you again? <laughs> Why is with me today? It's like I'm trying to sabotage my own stream. There you we're go. good. We're good. We're good. Back in business. Back in the action. Right, let's hopefully get a little bit better on the strength. Playboy bunny wearing jorts. Yes. Definitely wearing jorts. Oh, I love it. Uh, Let's no... go back and reap the, you know, reap what we sowed with that conveniently timed earthquake. <laughs> well, magically, I believe the door. Oh, there's another earthquake. And it's kind of convenient because we need the door to open, I guess. Not again! And if we go back into the other room. Hmm? Is it. Is the ghost back? The ghost is back, yes. Um, but Everything's there's just, a massive yeah. fucking chasm. Okay. Well, I could hit it then. How oh, annoying. Well, how about we just leave the bloody ghost and fuck the ghost? I can kill it quicker now. Okay. This we'll weapon seems to do really well against the ghost. Because usually the weapon, I remember last time plays, your weapons always did like t 10 damage at most. And it was yeah. like really naff, yeah. Um. As you can see, why you always need your we weapon drawn because mm -hmm. of those fucking bats. Oh yeah, yeah. And the hinges come off the door, but obviously the door opens like a normal door. Makes total sense. So many doors, too many doors. Well, that wasn't obvious, was it? <laughs> Look at him. He's gonna be all stealth on you, and you're just like, no, fuck you. I'm here to murder you. Yeah, dang you. He's good at dodging though. There we go. Oh, oh that was we just close. clubbed you. Oh, we just fucking hoofed you with that hammer. Yeah. That looked painful. That's what he gets. Any new abilities or? Um. I want that. Wow, that's some good stuff. Because um, eventually you come up with dragons. Oh, that was a nice hit there. Beat up the zombos. Punch the zombos. Zombos are down. No. Alright, so these are the boxes you gotta push. And I love that the push animation is like instantaneous, it's just like. Pew. He's out strong. Yeah. I mean, it could be stronger and just launch it all the way to the end of the room, but I think that would just be ostentatious. That ostentatious. There'd be no need for that now. That would just be um, showing off. I'm trying to think which best way to go. Hmm. Where am I going, David? 
Uh, done. Left or right? Uh, left. Left? Okay, I'm going right. Yeah, cool. Wait, I think we did this bit before, and last time I said left, and you went, okay, I'm going right, and that fucked you. Wait, this game came out after Final Fantasy X? Really? Wow, that's late in the PlayStation life cycle. That's crazy. Oh, and uh, have fun at work, Dead Sandals. Yep. Yeah, yeah wow. Dead Sandals. I think I just messed it up. Did you? I think I did. Alright, let's go back and redo then. Um. Oh, dear. Are you getting a feel for where the boxes got to be? Um, I'm pretty sure I can probably get away with just using two of them. We'll see. Oh, God, more beer. <clears throat> oh, 2000. Okay, that makes more sense. So just before Final Fantasy X. I thought that was weird, because it's like, why would a PS1 game be released after the release of the PS2? Like, surely that would be detrimental to Sony, if anything. I remember what I was meant to do now. Mm. I remember. Would you say this is like one of your favourite RPGs on the PlayStation then, or...? Um... Because I know there are quite a few that are pretty decent, so... Yeah, I, I like this, because it was one of them games where I grew up with. Yeah. For, um, me, for me, I think the best RPGs on the PlayStation, not counting like ports, would be... Uh, oh, we lost now. Breath of Fire 4, which I think is just fantastic in its own right, like just a really good standalone video game where you get to be a dragon and uh, talking RPGs and we're talking Final Fantasies then 9 is my favourite of the three that were released on Playstation I, I love Final Fantasy 9 it's a great game and what are you trying to what are you trying to oh there's a ghost he's getting ready to beat up the bat. That's, wow, that's, that's, bat. that's a lot of walking enemies bad dog <laughs> Dog dead. Stop hanging out with the mean kids. Peer pressure's getting the better of you. <laughs> Fighting skeletons by day, working the tables in a restaurant by night. Is that what you call places like Hooters? A, a restaurant? That's such a good name. I love it. Where's the ghost? Oh shit, it hit me. I'm gonna put fire away. Oh, oh. oh, I missed it. I would have been really good if you could have blocked that. Never mind. Let's wait for that ghost to appear, and if he's far away, blast him with that magic spell. And or just batter him. Or just batter him. That works too. Um, I'm hoping there's a chest in here. <laughs> Ideally, it's around here somewhere. I'm fairly certain there is a chest around here. Hmm. Where? Ah, there you go. Um, so I'd say get that. Oh, can you? If they're against the wall, can they be moved? No. Or? Sure, that one. Oh, right. And then you can push that one. <laughs> Look at it go. Just tumbles. That's great. And then up on that one to get the chest. Nice. We got Stabby McStab! <laughs> oh, I remember last time we played this, we had Stabby McStab. That was the name of, that's what we named that weapon, Soul Kiss. Isn't Soul Kiss the one that has a chance of causing instant death? Or am I misunderstanding Yeah, it was the one that was really good against the, um, any kind of undead. That's radical. Okay, cool. Right, unfortunately though, I need to get rid of one. Hmm. Oh, what is... This pad is annoying. <laughs> Um, Just gotta get used to it, yo. I'm gonna get rid of this because I've got a another axe now, so I don't need another axe. Didn't you put it in the? Well, can you just uh, disassemble it? Yeah. Oh, you discarded it. Again. Oh, okay. It's not like a waste or anything then. No. Cool. So you can dis disassemble. Shandy Gaff. That sounds like a name that that Tim would make up. <laughs> With a Shandy Gaff. What a name. Oh. 
Sham do I need do I, do I really need a two-handed weapon? I'd, I'd show it off. I'd show it off and then get rid of it. Okay. Let's equip the Shandy Gaff. First of all. Oh no. That's not good, is it? What's wrong? I don't think I can get that weapon anymore. Oh. What, did you lose the opportunity completely? Oh yeah. That's rubbish. Shit. Oh no. Why are we going to come back That's into why you need room. to store things if you're not using the things. That's unfair. That yeah. was a really good weapon as well. Soul kiss, is it, that you lost? Yeah. No. Oh, oh, God, that. It's alright, we're doing... Let's just grind the weapon we've got and make it unbeatable. Well, I'll try again. Hopefully, you never know. I doubt it, but we'll see. Because that is a really good weapon. Hmm. Money, you don't want to go lose it this time soon. Um, no, no, that's gone. He is botched. Uh, oh. We don't need the soul kiss anyway. We're doing pretty damn well without it, to be honest. Yeah, I guess so. Would have been good to have it though. There'll be better weapons in the sea. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I guess so. Yeah, you know the sea, it's no for its weapons. And I, you know, block pushing puzzles, one time they're okay, it's when you're dealing with like fantasy dungeons. Because it, you know, makes sense, so yeah. Um, they're not particularly dull puzzles either. It's not like, uh, well, most other video game examples I could give right now. If I can remember correctly, you push that one over. Mm -hmm. You push that one over. Do you know if you're that far from the boss now? Um, I'm not too sure. All right. I'm near a. I'm pretty sure I'm near a boss. Cool. Whoa. Good jump. Good jump. Yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll maybe go to a boss and either take a break or call it for tonight and do some more another time. <laughs> I feel like I could just do like a half hour now or something like that, that would probably get me back on my feet. The douche. Action Man! There's, there's a game I should play sometime. That's a game that actually exists. Is that the one where it's first looking down? Yeah, it like starts off top down and then you have like first person mode. If it tries to do every genre of game, it does them all pretty bad. Yeah. But it's just funny because Action Man is inherently funny to me. An Ameri it, well, it's, it's like we couldn't have G.I. Joe because he's all American and patriotic, so let's just take the G.I. Joes and just make them, you know, a big buff Action Man. I literally call him Action Man though, but don't put any creativity into it, this is just Action Man. Oh, that was rubbish. And he goes against oh. Dr. X. Just some twat with the green arm. There were awesome commercials. There were awesome adverts for Action Man, I will give you that, yeah. Action Man, the greatest hero of them all! I remember that was the theme. I heard that theme so many times, it's ingrained into my memory. <laughs> about stubbing Mick Stubstick though. I really, yeah. It sucks that we lost it, but we'll live. We'll definitely live since we've, you know, we've got the stabs. We're down with the cool kids and the stabs. That's true. Besides, I think we've already, we've already kind of... Oh, hey, here we go. Oh, hey, workshop. This is where you get to make weapons and stuff. We've already kind of hit the limit as well on, you know, stab-based names. I think we can diversify now. What be in here? So, hang on. No. So, obviously I'll get to the customization. So you get your items, mm -hmm. set up, and then there you go, you can assemble weapons, repair weapons and combine weapons. Do we have to be in this room to do these things? Or? Yes, you can oh, do okay. in this room. Right. So, let's combine two blades together. 
see what we get. Um, I'm going to combine my. I feel like I'm going to with nah. My goblin club with a spear. Let's just see what happens. Okay. They can make any old thing. And um, what did I make? I didn't see what I made. <laughs> so I didn't. I don't know. Maybe you maybe just fucked everything up and they're all broken now. Um, I think I just. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, I've improved it. Oh, okay, okay. You just boosted its stats. Stats. All right. So, let's, let's I like to impart your list of all the nefarious deeds committed by Doctor X, and they're all really petty. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, yeah, right. action, man. So, what would happen if I make this? Um, oh, you would make a new weapon, who I'm going to name the... How? What's the word limit? What's the What's the amount of text you can put in? I'm not too sure, really. Okay. Uh, let's call it... I'm going through like the classic names. Excalibur, Masamune, uh... Shiv. Shiv's a good one. We're going it's to call I think it's be a spear of some sort. Long Shiv. Point Super Shiv. <laughs> super Shivs. <laughs> shiv on a stick. <laughs> Shank on a stick. Shank on stick. See if we can put Shank on a stick in there. We'll see if we can fit Shank on a stick. I'll wash myself with a Shank on a stick. I don't like it like that. Oh, oh that one. Shank on, oh. Shank on stick. Oh, yeah, it's good. Oh, I don't like that either. Yeah, it's got to be a little A. Got to go for grammatically correct with our silly weapon name. Come on, let's get that K in. Yes, there we go. We've got a shank on a stick. There we go. Cool. We got stabs and the shank on a stick. Hmm. Nice. Not bad. Shall we use it for a bit just to get a feel for it? Doink. Yes, that really is a shank on a stick. I love it. Oh, you wanted to see what the um the shank two handed death. weapon. Oh, hello. I don't that mind is cloud the, stuff. I don't mind the look of that shandy gaff right there. That's pretty, pretty tight. I'm gonna stick with stabs for now. I wanna get a bit better. Alright. The other options are there if we need them. Yeah. So I wanna stick with my belt shield. More like the belter shield. Because it's so good. What's this? Ranged melee? Uh, pretty much, if you can swing it hard enough, if you can swing it far enough. <laughs> if you accidentally let go. Yep. <laughs> if you just pelt your sword everywhere, or pelt whatever weapon you're using. Anything's a weapon if you can throw it hard enough. That is true. I'll take uh, take Good care, night, Stella. To be fair, I think we're going to pack up as soon as we've beaten the boss as well, so yeah, we, you won't be missing much. How are you feeling doing a bit of streaming, Sam? This is something new for you. It's going good. I'm yeah. enjoying it. It's fun, isn't it? Ah, oh. it's just no pressure. You can just play games and just have a bit of fun with them. Yeah. Don't forget to store everything. I did. Uh oh. Ah, oh, that is why I forgot. What? Um. Is that when you? I just remembered you've got to save it every time you store stuff in your. Oh, you got to save the game. Essentially, yeah. Alright, okay. Well, you're not just going to dismantle everything you're not currently using, or are you? I'm just going to put it all in the box for now, because it's too much hassle going for it. Okay, okay. Any donations? Not that I know of. I figured my phone would like pipe off for quite anything. It's just a little something just to, uh, you know, it's there in case anybody wants to help out with my rent this month, because. So my housing benefit just kind of said nope, <laughs> just kind of fucked up and didn't go through, which sucks for rent payments. Oh, actually, yeah, tell the light, I've got some money in. 
Um, oh, that was from Kasinzi. Thank you very much, Kasinzi. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Right. Let's go find this boss then. I'm pretty sure the boss is up near. Um, if I can remember correctly. I don't think it's a dragon. Mm -hmm. Um. Can't fit. I can't remember what it is now. Oh, is it like a, I'm pretty sure it's like some big monster dude. We'll find out when we get to it. In the meantime, let's beat up the skelly mans. What happens if you fall in the pits? Is it instant game over? I think it just respawns the next to um, the, the beginning of the area. Oh, okay. What, with like some of your HP removed? Yeah. Or, uh, that's sure. better than instant death, because that would really suck. Oh, new, new break I learn. Hey. What should I learn this time? We should learn... What are you doing? <laughs> She's like kicking the chair. Um, uh, Siphon Soul, that's pretty good if you're taking on wizards and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I don't really ever use the magic, really, so... Mm. The Siphon would be good against mag magicians. But there you go. Oh, you can't... It doesn't allow you to jump off the map. Because it's not even at the edge of the map, it's just the uh, graphics rendering. Alright. Obviously. <laughs> it's a wall. I knew that. Oh, I definitely knew that. So good. Get down, you damn bat. Lying on the floor, sleeping. You're pretending <laughs> that you're not a thing. Get up. I feel pretty bad as a, a skelly lady. A lady skelly. Was... Lady skellington. And I get a skill bubble. Or at least a ponytail skellington. That is a bit of an assumption there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's, look at that uh, parkour right is, there. Um, I think this is literally just a dead end just where a couple of enemies are in. Oh, okay. Cheers, well, game. off we go then. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate that. Thanks for the thanks for the waste of time. Let's go. Right. Oh, oh hello again. Down you go, son of a bitch. Don't take a hint, do they? No. Come on. Get out, there, we, there go. we go. Did you get an update from that mobile phone game that someone was dicking you over on? Or? I still haven't found out on that yet. Yeah. So, <laughs> what was the game called, Sam? Ebony. Ebony Sam, Sam plays Ebony, and some person who's in his, like, alliance guild thing starts fucking up his dudes. And the worst thing so, is... so salty about it, it's great. The worst thing is, though, I can easily destroy him. And I don't know why he just decided to attack. <laughs> How dare he, that mortal! Yeah. How dare he He's stand up against me? He's a peasant compared to my How empire. How dare he stand up against me? <laughs> Such a peasant. <laughs> That's rad. So obviously now, look, we can get into the room where that ghost was. Hmm. Now the door comes off its hinges. Alrighty. And as you can see, we're on the other side of the chasm. Oh, hello. These guys have nothing on me. Yeah, these, those guys are yeah, so Yeah, that the come you. play me Lord Boob game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were really, you really got, I mean, granted, it's, it's advertising maybe gross, but apparently it's an enjoyable game. Well, so quite a lot of people play it. Yeah. <laughs> Warning, do not enter this game if you're under 18 years of age, even though it has literally no sexy content in it. It's just management. Yeah. It's like farm and village management. There's nothing remotely sexual about it. I think we're coming up to the boss now. Yeah. Cool, cool. I think it's coming up to the boss now. Let's do this. That clocks us in just under in, under two hours. The door has been locked. Oh no, I'm just against lizard things. Lizard things? Oh This God. is essentially their class as dragons. These oh, things. Oh, these guys. I remember these guys. They're like Haggins. Alright. Let's follow these guys right up. Oh. Get back here. 
Get down, lizard men. Shit. You have a lot of health, apparently. Hmm. I don't want to go down anytime Ow. soon. I mean, the Ow. game's kind of expecting you to get really into the combos now. Oh, we've got a new, um... Yay, I can cure poison. Yay, nice. And you got some new stuff as well. Right, Look at that dramatic drop, and it just gets immediately pummeled. Oh, I missed it. Oh. You know, if you're at Ooh, high health, fucking cool. hell, that hurt. That didn't look pleasant. Yeah, you know, if you're at high health, it's probably a good idea to you know, just to use the to alternate the attacking attacks, or does that not work that way? Like, do you have to use the healing one as well? Um, the, the healing one is a good idea just because of the fact um, that you take damage quickly in this, or? Well, it's, um, hmm? obviously, like, at the moment now, what I can probably do with healing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, obviously, that obviously assists when you're attacking, you're healing in mid-combat, because it saves you having to do this. Okay. So in mid combat, if you keep the, the combos going, you can alternate between the two, the main attack and your heal. So you can just do that constantly. Sweet. Alrighty then. If you can keep the combos going, that is. That's the big if right there. Yeah. I think. I literally come into this room to kill two little lizard things. Well, I mean, you got some items from them, didn't you? Like, you got a key or something, or maybe got, that's going to prompt an earthquake. No, it don't prompt an earthquake, it's just... um. I can get into one of them doors now. Oh, okay. A bloody skeleton. I think this weapon does a, bit, a lot more damage against I'm dead now. I, I read a comic earlier that really made me laugh, which was like a skeleton sitting on the couch like, Hey, why didn't the skeleton go to prom? Because he had no body to go with. And then the last panel he just starts crying and goes, Oh, Susan, why? <laughs> that made me giggle. Got turned down here. Yeah. Poor skinny man. <laughs> All right. Last bit of block. Fail. Block movement. Oh, maybe not. Oh, look at that! Look at those sweet moves. Those big boy Your muscles, muscles <laughs> right there. Yeah. Right. Not not the muscles. <laughs> Oh, bloody skeleton. How dare you. Assault my family. You get slapped. Nice, alright. I hate those things. What about, yeah, the bastard you suck. I just, I know it's really dumb, but I just, I just, I'm just giving it the fact that when you look down at his stats, it just says LIT in all caps. <laughs> <laughs> These zombies are LIT AS FUCK! That is very true, all the right arms must die. Mm. Fuck think, the right arms though. I think now I'm coming up to a boss, so... No, I don't want that. Wait, oh. can I just go and just start the screen again? Right arm. Excellent! Left arm. Excellent! Head. Excellent! Body. Good. Legs. Excellent! <laughs> Body's just okay though. Just average. It's got an average all, body. Okay. All the appendages and limbs are great, but just the body, uh, you know, it could be better. Maybe you could do a few more crunches in the morning. It's just not quite there yet. It's like, yeah, you haven't skipped leg days, your legs are excellent, but your torso, you know, it's usually the first people thing people address. Alright, are we going to use all the items that we can use and get ready for all the abilities we're going to need? <laughs> Never skip body day. Ashley Ryan never skips body day. It's all about it's all about that day for Ashley. I think it's a little boy right here. I go, think we're going into a... Oh hey, it's Kermit. <laughs> 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 it's 
<laughs> it's my headcanon Kermit character. Oh, and Sydney. What up, Sydney? Oh, I, I, he's creating another kind of. Um, I can't remember what he's making now. I'm drawing. Oh, making... a, <laughs> I'm drawing a pretty picture. Leave me alone. I'm gonna upload this on Deviant Art. I'm gonna be so famous. Gods, is he even human? He fights with the strength of a brigand. A brigade, sorry. A risk breaker's all this powerful? I think not. Our Ashley is a vessel, you see. He's merely part. Actually, I'm giving this guy a really deep voice, but I don't think Sydney would have a deep voice. He'd probably sound a bit more Mickey Mouse in nature. I think he would have a deep voice, because he seems like that. Oh, the blonde. Uh, the blonde he's hair, immortal. Though. Yeah. I means his balls would have dropped so many times. I am um, actually, if we're talking real, I imagine he'd have like a weird, creepy, monotone voice. Relax, my good hearted. Remember, it is all part of my plan. That sounds good. That, that's, that suits Sydney. There we are. We're slowly getting there. Through the Duke's betrayal, the risk broke as strong as a bloody titan. Oh, part your precious blood too, Sydney! Ah! <laughs> Sydney, forgive me. Just has to give him that look. Be calm, Hardy. It is of no account. You impress me, Inquisitor. More concerned about our doings than your own fate. I'm not gonna do a full set so it's a voice, voice actor lady character. I have more respect for ladies than that. <laughs> Okay, I've got to try and read this. I kind of want to read this in the Kermit voice. <laughs> oh, no, whatever. Let's just fight the boss. Let's do a boss. I'm pretty sure this is a golem. Let's do a golem. Let's beat up a golem. I hope it's not a dragon. I'm pretty impressed they got the hair blowing, even with PS1 graphics there. That's definitely something. I'll give them props for that. Hmm. Oh, shit. Not... oh, no, no boss, just more enemies, alright. This game is bait. Enemies. bait and switching us like nobody's business right now. Oh. There we are. No. What is no. even in this? Oh, it's uh, blocks. Blocks going where they gotta go. Oh right, I see. Yep, I got it. I'll make like a little stair, little staircase with the with the blocks there. That makes sense. And up we go. Oh, <laughs> you put it in the worst possible place. <laughs> oh god, can you? Yes, there you go. Parkour skills for the win. You got it. You got it. You're in it, my son. Oh, <laughs> try, try not to injure yourself on the set up there. Oh, I think this weapon's doing really good against undead now. I think it's just because you're using it so much. You're kind of making it your signature weapon, so it's going to get good at pretty much everything. I think yeah. the last time we played this, we were so concerned with swapping and trying every weapon that nothing had a chance to get good. Let's go this way. Hmm. Get out of it, scrub. Down you go. Would you ever do an LP of Ebony, by the way, if there were a way of doing that? Yeah, probably nice. Um, <laughs> it's boring. <laughs> that. And it's one way you, um, it's time related. Oh, so you got to put tons of, like, real life time in it. Yeah. We start. Okay, cool, got ya. Oh, I fucking hate ghosts. ghosts. Bloody gorse. No, I can't hit Can you use your magic on it? No distance. way for it to come down. Like that. <laughs> Literally ran into it. Ready for a pummeling, you nerd. You ghostly nerd. Oh, hello, where's he even? There. Ah. 
That's a better man, that's different. I'm oh, scared man dead. Hmm. Where is that bloody ghost gone? I killed it. Oh, oh, you've better then. That does save us some headache. Explore the room. There's evidently just a big F off hole right there for you. I don't think you can actually get into it though. I'm sure you can, if you get the boxes and no, bring them all like, There's no way you can... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They wouldn't oh. put it in the room and not give you a method. You just got to figure out where you put, where you take those boxes right there. Maybe I should have done that. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. I think you were meant to like be on that bookcase and then pick one... Oh, can you pick those up? No. No, I won't be able to. Can There's you? definitely a method, it's just figuring out what the hell it is. Um, can you push those at all, or are they? No, once it's in there, yeah. that's, that's that's why I thought of doing it that way. Hmm. Well, obviously, run through the rest of the room. There might be another box in here somewhere. That might be what you need. No. Hmm. Uh, let's step out and back in and rethink this. Is this more of an extremely slow Diablo or a gritty Alundra? I have not actually played either of those games, but. I'm gonna uh, say Gritty Alundra, why not? 50-50 Diablo! It. It's... Yeah, Diablo's a lot faster. Mm. Um, I've never played Alundra. Although, what is that game that you were showing me earlier that was actually really cool? It was like the Genesis answer to Fire Emblem. Oh, Langrissa. Langrissa, yeah, we should stream that sometime. We should do a little bit of Langrissa sometime, because that game looks really rad. In fact, I'll leave it to a vote. Um, do people want to see us finish the Fagrid story, so like, do this, stream this entire game in like, chunks? Or, do they want to see us stream like a different old RPG game every week, maybe? Ah, oh, see, so Hebrew is Langris is cool. Mm. Oh, well, Tomb Power, you know about it, that's, that's rad. I'd never heard of it, but watching it just looked like cool Genesis Fire Emblem game. And I'm down with that. Ah, uh, what do I do with this box? You somehow. I bet it's inevitably that there is nothing you can do in this room. Mm, I'm sure there's something. Can you not interact with those boxes at all? No. The only thing you can do is destroy it. Uh... But you've got to let someone make yourself a staircase. There is nothing even in there, David. It. Oh, there's nothing in it. Oh, that is just a stupid. Oh, that sucks. That's stupid. Fuck this. <laughs> that was just a. A skylight or whatever. A vent. That was just a vent. Oh, bloody hell. It isn't even a dog, it's a rat. Is it? Oh, wait, it's what a is dog. It? it is a dog. It's just it's got just some... a hellhound. Oh, right, right. Bad dog then. No, oh, dare you pretend to be a rat. Bad dog. <laughs> Get down, skelly man. Bitch. This thing is really not taking the hit that needs to be taken right now. No. There you go. There you go. That'll, that'll <laughs> do it. A solid decapitation is usually the way to solve most problems. Name me one problem that can't be solved without decapitations. You can't. Hydra. Okay, well, if you're going to be a wise ass about it, <laughs> then yes, the Hydra. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, a red slime. Hello, Mr. Red Blob. Mr. Blobby Park here. It's crazy to me that, like, looking back and learning more about Mr. Blobby, he's like a Noel Edmonds creation. <laughs> Like he used to be like best friends with Noel Edmund. He was like he was designed to be like a parody of children's mascot with the joke being, look how scary and fucked up they look. But then they kind of just went with it and he unironic he became unironically a fucked up scary mascot. Oh Mr. Blobby. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's Sorry, I'm just checking out the chat right now, and that sounds really interesting, Tomb Pirate. I, uh, I, d I don't know, did Langris ever get, what, did Langris not get a proper English, 
English release? Or was it only released in Japan, maybe? I think it was only released in Japan. Oh, right. So it's like a fan translation, a fan patch. Okay. I can dig it. Oh, here we go. Here's the boss. Time for boss. Oh, I didn't heal. You don't need a heal. You got this, my, my son. You got this good. Oh, wait. This is just another random mini boss. The, the thing will be summoned. There's an actual oh, that dragon. The actual? Okay. How far are you from that? Um. Oh. Really? What? Did you see? It was 0% on everything. Oh shit, okay. So I can't do no damage to it. <laughs> okay, magic maybe. Or... That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Blast him with magic until he is. Until he isn't. I'm making me I like this name is Emmets. Hello, Emmets. Apparently. Going by the engravings on his arm. Changed. The fuck actually changed. Really? <laughs> um, <laughs> what? what was different on that? I it, don't know what the difference was. Um, I can't even gauge that. Okay, well, I won't look that gift horse in the mouth. I, I, don't, boss understand, over. I don't understand that at all. Preemptive end to that boss. Normal agent. We're pretty damn normal. Go us. I. Let's hit the circle button and yeah, that'll do. HP plus. Four. I don't understand that. Understanding is for the weak. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get our grim grimoires and our elixirs. Ooh, agility yeah. points. Oh, this is this is what I needed. And prostasia, whatever that, whatever the hell it's, that is. Um, it means now I can. Uh, what is it? Increase my my um weapon. Oh right, right, right. Okay. So I'll do more damage. Got it. Fucking stupid god. <laughs> All right, is that us done for today then, or? We should we'll, get to a save point quickly. We'll, we'll get your save point, and then we'll duck out, and we'll come back in next time. We want to do ourselves a little bit of a uh, a bit of RPG streaming, whether it's vagrant more of this vagrant story or something else. I wouldn't mind doing a bit of Breath of Fire. I imagine that. I've already forgotten the name of it. That Genesis Fire Emblem as well. Why is my sword not doing any damage to anything? I think it's game... broken. Oh, is that what it is? You broke it on the golem. You gotta I think use... that might be what the reason is. Is that beef for broken? No, that's bronze. Hmm. I don't understand why it's... Well, let's just try the shank on the stick for a bit. I feel like the shank on the stick is being vastly mis un underused right now. It's not nearly as popular in the metagame as it should be. No. Nothing's working. Just fuck it, bolt it then. Get past the skelly man and we'll worry about him later. You might have a status effect or a condition or something that makes you bad against, like, these kind of enemies. I don't know. Well, I've not had a problem since. Ah, uh, well, whatever it is, we can just run past this, assumingly. We'll worry about it later. Yeah, but I can't run away from a battle, David. You kind of have to if you're going to be here forever, and I want to go to bed. <laughs> All right, hang on, let me yeah. just kill this. Let me just quit my weapon again. And put my thing back on and give this guy it's a. I'm fucking dead. Track. Fourteen. Hmm. Maybe it's because you've just beaten a boss and your damage output is, is suffered for it. I don't know. It's a weird one. Yeah, hello there. 
Fuck you, Mr. Skelly Man. I don't know why it's doing it. Uh, it's, it's just a mystery to all, as far as I can see. Something's going on, going fishy with this, but I guess when we're in a bit more of a fresh state of mind, we'll be able to go over it and figure out what that thing is. Maybe the character is just stressed and needs a rest or something like that. I don't know. Maybe you just need some booze and time in a jacuzzi. Oh, fucking wow. Okay. That's a good animation for fuck all. <laughs> You're right. Run. Yeah, let's just Run. get out. <laughs> let's get to that safe point and we'll call it. And you're going to realise now how relieving it is to Ow. just be able to run through this game. Ow! As long as you're not just getting pummeled every time. Go away. Run. <laughs> ah, you don't scare your hands. You. Get out of my face. Get out of my living room. Oh, let's look. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. This is why I don't run from enemies. Well, heal yourself as you're going. Don't just let right, them hit you. I, I think I mean, like, hit it to stun it and then see if you can run afterwards. Hmm. So that's a lot of self healing there. Oof. Ouch. And out. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, no. Shit. Alright, use a healing item, don't get battered by the skeleton as soon as you walk in the room. Thankfully healing items actually do slow I you down. I think it's, um, I am, it's damaged, the weapon's damaged. That's probably what it is, yeah. We just need to get a new one prepped and ready for next time we stream this. We're basically swinging around a broken hill at things. What the fuck is that let me get in the door? Oh my god, what is happening? You know, the game. How it's designed. Heal yourself. That's why it's giving you so many of these bloody roots. <laughs> god, it's irritating just to watch it. There we go. Do you know where the next safe point actually is, or...? No idea. Oh god, oh god, I thought you were like running to a specific place. <laughs> oh Jesus, okay, that does change things. Um, fuck. At least the bats go down easy. I think it might be near. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I know I would have to fight Emmett again. <laughs> that was torture. Oh yeah, god, yeah, please don't die right now. Although, if you went up to Emmett with proper weapons and armour, I feel it'd be a lot easier. There we go. Oh, no. Is that a mimic? No, I can save it. Yes! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we'll take that opportunity then. I don't worry. understand. I think it might be I need to get to the workshop and repair the weapons. Maybe, maybe. In the meantime, that's Vagrant Story. It's a game where you've got to properly do up your dude, getting prepped and ready for battles, and... As we've just discovered now, make sure his weapons are maintained, so... Oh, no! And now it's super good again. Maybe he just needed a rest. I don't know! <laughs> he was just having a bad day. He had a bad day. He's... I don't understand now yeah. why my weapons are doing loads of he damage. He had a bad day. He had a bad day. He had a bad day. And he had a bad day. <laughs> Alright, so, with that, I think that'll be, uh... Actually, let's just go through this workshop here and double check everything. See if your weapons do need uh, need repairing. I right. bet that's what you needed. Okay. So. No, but the endurance points is max. Mm hmm. I don't. I couldn't tell you. I could begin to tell you what that was. Ah, Why Emmett was so hard? I think it's just Emmett in general. Yeah, yeah. Well, with that, it's been an absolute joy streaming today. Yeah, uh, it's we been should fun. do this more often. Uh, yeah. Let me know if you want more Vagrant Story, if you want us to try some other RPG games, and we'll do a bit of a rotation. So, see you all later, and <laughs> uh, take care. Yeah, see you later. Bye bye. Oh, hello, hello. Just, going, I'm just, just having a run around. Okay, bye bye.